Hey, welcome to episode six. And uh, today I want to talk about project planning and then just a little bit about where we are because we've broken ground and we have broken ground. We have started, which is awesome. And so it's, now it's a, we want to keep the momentum going. Um, but first, I want to start with, you know, with a quote, and it is from Eisenhower. And I might mess it up a little bit, but the gist of it is this, is that plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. <laughs> Meaning... It is critically important. The planning is critically important. Yes, the plan itself will change. It will morph and um, over time and you know based on what's you know really happening on the ground and, and the actual conditions. Those will all change, but it's that planning process that really allows you to be able to flex so well. All right, so we're, today we're going to talk about planning. And project planning specifically, I'm just going to show you a little bit on that and then where we are on the project. Okay, in project planning, there are five basic process groups. This isn't necessarily how you phase out a project, but it's a process group. And they are initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and controlling, and closing. Okay, those are the process groups. And then you'll phase out a project according to the actual project itself. Okay, so I, I'll go into more detail and I'll, I will show you a, a project, a schedule or what's called a work breakdown st structure. Uh, but I want to show you what's going on here. I'm, I'm basically prepping the area. I'm removing the area. And one of the things that I had to do is I had this beautiful blue spruce tree that had to come down. And... Um, so I had to be very careful with that. That tree is about 40 to 50 feet tall, and it is close to the house. It's close to the garden. It's close to our rainwater catchment, close to a coop, and it's got to drop, hopefully, <laughs> in between the cold frames and, and those other uh, trees next to it. Fortunately, it did all work out well, and it was able to go where I wanted it, which is all good news. In this, but anyway, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of of the, the the project and how it's going. So we we're all prepped. We've got this area clear, and we made some progress. We started the market out. And we've actually cut into the into the house. Okay, so we are actually going to go attached. I know I mentioned before that I wasn't sure, but we are doing that for sure. So that's all going very well. So really, what we are is we're in the the um yeah we've done the initiation we've done the planning of course planning is continuous you're always doing the planning and and now we're really in the the prep and the um the phase what i what i call basically um f the foundation phase okay so that's that's kind of where we are now um, we're going to be pouring piers soon and setting beams and, and all of that so pretty psyched to be able to be moving forward. All right, so we have broken ground. We have broken ground. We've got some some stakes in, just some generalized stakes um, for, for measuring. We've done some of the calculations. We started taking out that window, or we took out that window right there. That is gonna be where the, a door goes because from the last time I told you that it was still possible that this would be attached, and indeed, it is going to be attached. And so the, the final um, dimensions are actually right about from there coming out to this stake here. Okay, so that's going to be 16 feet all the way over here, somewhere in there, about 24 feet. Okay, 16 by 24 is what we finally came up with as far as dimensions are concerned. And, uh, and then um other than that we're you know so we're smoothing this area this is a little bit higher in this ground here so we're gonna have to do just a, a real slight amount of excavation for the beam and then i you know i will smooth it as much as i need to for um you know the inside of the the greenhouse however on this front south side it's going to be a raised bed uh, we did trace we did trace uh, the gas so propane you know that goes in Right over there, it's very important. Obviously, you have to know where that stuff is going, where it's at. So in case, you know, for digging, for, for putting in the uh, concrete rounds. Okay, so that's where we stand uh, for today's uh, project, and we're going to get to work on it real soon. 
a key aspect to all this is to understand what is happening under the ground of your project. Obviously, that's very important. And so right now, we have um, power, phone, and gas all marked out. So we need to make sure that, obviously, we work around that.